Hi everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. How's everybody today? I thought I would do something a little bit different and show you one of my watercolor palettes. So this is a, a little folding palette that um, that I can slip into my tote and bring with me in the car or into the woods or wherever I might be going. And I'm just checking my um, to make sure that I'm live and there we go. Hey Kelly, your package went out this morning. So um, to everybody who has signed up for the design journal workshop, I'm so excited about this workshop. I think you're really going to love it. And, um, and I was able to send out all of the kits a little bit early. And the reason I did that is because I've been hearing these stories about the um, post office getting really bad delays coming up. So I just wanted to make sure that I did everything I could do to get those kits out in time so that you'd be able to um, participate. So I'll be sending out an email to let you know what's next with that. But today is Watercolor Wednesday, and, um, and I wanted to paint a little bird and I was reminded about when I found Stampin' Up! almost five years ago. So it was around this time of year, five years ago, and I wanted to make a little Christmas ornament to give to one of my gardening clients. And my idea was to take a, a round shape and punch it out of some uh, archival board and then laminate some watercolor paper on the front of it, paint a little scene. I was going to paint a, a chickadee with some holly and then uh, have a punch a hole in it so it could be hung on the Christmas tree. And, uh, and then I had to make a little presentation box to, to give it to the, my wonderful client in. And that's when I started having problems because I was trying to make this very thin box that was covered with decorative paper and was lined with decorative paper. So it would be really beautiful. And, um, and I, and I went to the local craft store, the big craft store, there's two of them. And, um, and I went in there and I bought all the things that I thought I would need. So I got a great big hole punch. I got a little hole punch. I got some decorative papers and, um, and whatever I was thinking at the time, probably some ribbon and stuff. And I brought it home and I started working on this project. And what happened was every time I tried to fold the paper and crease it and do something, it would crack, it would pop. And I'd be so frustrated because I had to do it over and over and over again. And I ended up spending weeks, even months trying to figure out, I was determined to get this thing. I knew it could be done, but um, I wasn't familiar with the products that were out there. And so finally, somehow, I guess I was Googling stuff online and I found something about Stampin' Up! Had never heard of them before. I didn't, I didn't even know that scrapbooking was, was a thing. Um, I, I had no idea what a crop was. <laughs> okay, I was com I've spent most of my life in the Northlight painting studio doing fine art watercolors and oil paintings. So this was a completely new world to me, except that I've always loved making boxes. Ever since I was a tiny little girl, my uh, great aunt Flossie, I, th I think I was about three years old at the time, made me a little box. Now, 
I'm not such a spring chicken. And she was a very elderly lady. So if you think about it, she lived in the late 1800s. And at that time, if you needed a little box, you would go to the stationers and either commission them to create the box for you. But most people knew how to do that. So it was just kind of, you know, something that everybody did. They, when they needed a little box, they'd make it. So she showed me how to make this little box and I was mesmerized. I loved it. I thought it was so cool. And I never forgot throughout my, even though I was so young, I never forgot how she showed me how to make it. And um, much, much later on, you know, like uh, I'm going to say 30, 35 years later, I actually um, was living in New York at the time and I was doing illustration work for uh, various design companies. And I went to one of the local publishers to uh, show my portfolio and I didn't want them to forget about me because I, cause, you know, there's a lot of illustrators out there and they see dozens of them every week. So I wanted to make sure that they had something that they wouldn't forget about me. So I made this little box and I painted with watercolors on, on all six sides of the box. And I, and I put my contact information on the bottom so that they could find me. And I left it with them. And they said, thank you very much. You know, we'll, we'll call you in a week or so. We'll let you know. And a week later, they called me back and they commissioned me to design a box book, how to make your own, diff, uh, what is it? How to, how to make your own decorative gift boxes, I think it was called. In fact, you know what? I think I have it handy. Hold on just a second. I'll show it to you. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> this goes way back. Make your own floral gift boxes, six full color, ready to cut designs. So that was my first professional um, paper crafting assignment. And this, this is an older book, okay? So 1990. So I guess I'm really dating myself there. We're talking 31 years ago. Holy cow, where's the time fly? Anyhow, back to my story about my Christmas ornament. And I found Stampin' Up. I placed an order. I got the catalog and I got the, um, the package. And it worked perfectly. And I was so happy. Because number one, everything I wanted was in the catalog and they didn't have like a giant selection of 10 different kinds of scissors or whatever. It was one really good one. And that's what I wanted. Just one really good one. I didn't want to, you know, have to do all the research. And, and then they had the adhesives, the tools, the, um, the stamps. I mean, you, the whole shebang, I loved it. And, um, and that was the beginning of my journey into paper craft. And then of course I discovered what a crop was and scrapbooking and all that sort of thing. And it just kind of opened my eyes. All right, so this is a long story, probably more than what you want to hear today. But the reason I'm telling it to you is because I am going to recreate for you this year, a little Christmas ornament similar to the one that I made for my client all those years ago. And this is going to be a really cute um, workshop where I'm going to show you how to make some ornaments. We'll, we'll make several and a little box to put them in. So I just want to uh, give you the heads up on that. That's coming right up. So you want to make sure if you're interested in learning more that uh, you're on my my list so that you can get my invitations and my notices of upcoming events. And to do that, go to dandeliancottagedesign.com and subscribe to notes. And then I will be able to uh, send you all the information of what's coming up and how to register and what you need and all that kind of stuff. I will also be posting below after, after I do the live video today, I will be posting 
links to all the places that you can click on to, to get the information that you need. Um, I also want to let you know that I'm going to be starting the Watercolor Card Club up in November again. And this is a very popular workshop that I have every month. It's a, it's a subscription. And uh, what you do is you sign up and you will get a little package from me each month with the watercolor paper, card bases, envelopes, and some mats. And you'll also get a video of how I paint a particular subject for, for each month. And, um, and if you stay with me for six consecutive months, you get a little gift from me at the end. So that's another... Um, Thing that I'll be sending out soon in the email. So once again, please subscribe to notes at dandelioncodgedesign.com if you want to learn more about that. Tomorrow is the uh, flash watercolor class and painting with ink at 12 noon. So there's still time for you to uh, register for that. And, uh, and I will be sending out a reminder later today that this is the last day, or actually tomorrow um, morning will be the last day that you can sign up to watch me um, give you some tips on how to paint with watercolors and the water-based inks. So I'm talking about um, these little things that we use to re-wet our stamp pads. These actually work great as watercolor. So I'm going to be showing you that and we're going to be using dahlias as the subject. So the beautiful fall blooming flowers that we've got going on right now. And guess what? <laughs> if you want to learn more about that, go to my website and subscribe to notes. That's the only way that I can communicate with you all. So if you're, if you're interested in any of these things, please do that. I think that brings you up to date for now. Um, I'm sorry I was coming on late today. I actually had to have my fireplace and chimney cleaned and uh, the man came and did that. He makes a lot of noise. So it was very noisy here at 12 noon today. There was no way I could have the video for you. So, um, so I'm not gonna be painting today. I just wanted to be sharing this information with you so that you can stay tuned for the Christmas ornament workshop coming up, the, um, the, the Zoom tomorrow at 12 noon, and to let you know that your packages are out in the mail. And, um, and I think that covers it for now. I'm just going to check to see if there's any questions. And I want to thank you all for um, coming back, even though it was uh, an, a delayed program. And good to see you, Penny and uh, Kelly. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. And, uh, oh, I know, I wanted to tell you that on Saturday, we're doing Paper Crafting Saturday. And I have a really fun, um, it's called a Fold Flat card box and it's going to be featuring that frightfully cute uh, bundle again. So um, it's, it's a really fun project and I think you'll enjoy that. So thank you. Um, stay tuned. We've got lots of really exciting things coming up and uh, stay creative, stay well, stay happy, and I will see you next time.